Hello everybody, um, in this video I will show you how you can fix your crashing problems. First of all, there are a ton of websites that say, hey, you can't do actually much, but there are some things that you can do in order to stop the crashes. Now, obviously these are important, so you have to get the latest GPU drivers, you have to verify the integrity of your installed files, uh, make sure that the game is updated, close any unnecessary application in the background, and lower your graphics settings, which is stupid anyway, and make sure that you update your Windows as well. And a ton of websites says that this is all you can do, but this is not at all what all you can do. Let me show you. So first of all, when we go to the store page of the Sons of the Forest, we can check the rec recommended um, system settings. Now, this is um, doesn't make any sense because you need a really, really strong computer in order to run uh, Sons of the Forest, which is kind of stupid because I have much stronger graphics card as a recommended yet I have 40 or 50 uh, FPS and 16 gigabytes of RAM is not enough, not enough at all. So that's why you might keep crashing. If you don't have at least 32 um, gigabytes or um, I've made myself a 28 gigabytes of RAM, <laughs> which is achieved by paging files. So that's what we are going to do if you don't have enough RAM. I'm going to show you how you can make paging files and how to optimize your RAM by a click of a button so, so your RAM usage is staying low. You're going to need the system right that and then at the right side advanced system settings. This is going to show up. Here is a performance, visual effects, processor scale, blah 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 blah. Go to settings, go to advanced, you see a virtual memory. So if your RAM fills up then basically your computer is going to use paging files. So that's basically the joke that you can download RAM. You actually don't have to download it, you just have to set your RAM. But really important, you have to set an SSD. Hard drive is very slow and you ain't gonna get much benefit if you use a hard drive. Like I have um, this uh, D drive which is, which is on a hard drive. Don't use it, and at the same time, try to not use the system system disk as well, because Windows loves to use uh, your C drive as hell, and it's it's not the best to set uh, the C drive as a paging file. But basically, all you have to do is what you're going to have is uh, automatically manage paging files. You just check that off, and right here, uh, it's gonna be tick the no paging file will be ticked. And you just have to go to the custom size and set how much RAM do you want. I mean, virtual RAM. And it's I recommend that you don't use um, numbers like these. Um, try to use the 1024 times 2 or 3. If you use this, the multiplication of this number, then, then your system is will la less likely to crash. That's what I experienced, but but you can, in theory, set whatever you want. If I set 80 gigabytes of RAM, then I will write 1024 times 8, because 1024 megabytes is a gigabyte. So basically just times 8 and you get uh, 8192. And then basically you have to click set. This is really important. You have to click set. And press OK, then OK, then OK. And we, when you are done with this, you might uh, restart your computer. And it is recommended that you restart your computer. And now, if you go to performance memory, then you will see down here that how much, uh, how much is your total memory. Now, right now, I have 28 gigabytes of RAM, which is enough, but not really. Then what we should do is really easy you just have to download the application that i linked in the description and you just have to install it and then run it you're gonna get this as a 
application this is it this is really easy it can run in the background and let's see we have uh, five gigabytes of ram in use and now we just click optimize and then now we are only using two gigabytes of ram like damn that's sick and if you don't believe it you just go to performance and you can see we're using 2.5 gigs ram basically windows is badly optimized and it eats your ram like cake so this basically just clean up your ram of unnecessary um, registers and it's really easy you can just click x it will be stay in the background and if your ram starts to fill up and and the sons of the forest starting to be laggy then you just start again and optimize again that easy another thing that is really important if you have um resizable bar enabled then you might have to disable it i had it as enabled and it crashed like instantly and now that i disabled it 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 runs fine so it might work in for your computer you have to test it out um because obviously the resizable bar is really nice to have so these are the things that i found for the crashing problem if you want to see more helpful videos then hit the like and subscribe and then see you later goodbye